Hello everybody, welcome back to the Norwegian 737 project. Wow, I haven't had an update for you in uh, like three weeks or something. But, uh, see last Sunday I made a video after I finished the left side of the cockpit uh, wall. And uh, I just never, I just never uh, uploaded it because it's, uh, I, re I didn't really have enough to talk about. So I was just sitting here like going um, 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 so I just thought screw it. And uh, <clears throat> I've been busy at work, so I haven't had any time to do anything with the simulator until, uh, until today. So, but anyway, last Sunday I finished this this uh, left side of the cockpit. <clears throat> Did a little bit of uh, adjustments here and there. Put up a temporary rear wall right there. And I did finish the quarter, the left quarter sill. Uh, yeah, on the side wall. Came out pretty darn good. Came out just the way I wanted it. And uh, looking at the pictures, it is as close as I can possibly get. Uh, so this is really starting to look like a damn simulator right now. Well, as a 737. <laughs> and, uh, okay, um, before I forget, there's a guy named Vida Fagerjord. He's Norwegian. And he's made a drawing of these sidewalls. And he's posted it on mycockpit.org. If you go over there, you can download that PDF file. And you can have the basic measurements for this uh, this table right here sidewalls you can basically just copy absolutely everything in that PDF and make your own sidewalls uh, what I've done is I've copied basic measurements like this this board that holds the the oxygen mask the map light uh, coffee cup holder and the rest is looking at pictures uh, but yeah this especially is for you uh, with the Kiwi 737 project in New Zealand. See, you got those classic uh, sidewalls you want to put in your sim, but you have like the N NG main instrument panel, NG overhead. So it's really just a shame to see you put those classic sidewalls uh, in your sim. Uh, before we continue, maybe I'll, uh, I'll uh, explain a little bit more. Uh, this uh, He's uh, building a 737 in uh, New Zealand. And he was lucky enough to get panels from a classic Boeing 737-200. I do believe he, uh, you only had to pay like $200 for a complete set of uh, roof panels. He got eyebrow panels, sidewalls, pretty much everything. And in a comment, I just told him that I, if I were you, I wouldn't put them in. And uh, he talks about me in his previous video, and I appreciate that, man. And... Uh, Trust me, if I could, I'd come down to New Zealand, spend a few days with you, have fun, build us a flight simulator, no, no doubt about it, but <laughs> I work too much, I can't, but anyway, uh, yeah, that's what it, that, that's why I was explaining with Via.Fagir's PDF file, if you go and download this, you can just pretty much measure and cut, measure, cut, measure, cut, and build it like a damn Lego. <laughs> Because it, it really is not that hard. Look at this right side. I just started it today, actually. And you get pretty far in one day. See, there's just basic measurements, cutting, some angles here and there. Put them together, make it look good. Uh, see, compared to this side, this this right side looks like crap right now. But it's like you're building... You're building... You first put up the basic side wall. And then you do the, the finish afterwards. And, oh, 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 before I forget, Vidar Fagerjord, the guy that made this PDF with a measurement, he asked me a question. If this side cell is straight like, is, like it is on this side, or if it's arced? Well, it's arced. That's what I figured out if looking at the original 737s around on the internet. See, there's... She goes straight until you hit one th one third of the sliding window, then you'll begin to get an arc. So in the rear right here, I got 10 centimeter um, width on my um, uh, it's a two by eight. It's 10 centimeters and it's fading to zero centimeters on one third on the 
sliding window. Let's see if I can show you how arced it really is. If I look into the front, and that's the sidewall right there. See, that's a pretty good arc right there. Uh, but that's just the way I figured it out. I might be wrong, but pretty darn sure I'm uh, not too far off. What else is there to tell you guys? I don't really have too much to talk about, but we talked about the Kiwi 737 project. We talked about Vida Fagayur. And there's one more guy I'd like to say a big hello to. Is uh, actually a guy I stumbled across yesterday looking through internet. And uh, on Google I just searched for Norwegian 737 project and I'll be damned. There's a little guy, he's probably around 11, 12 years old. He's living in America. And in his grandparents' backyard, he's building his own version of the Boeing 737. <laughs> so he's built, he built, he started off with the base and the framework and everything. So now he's got himself a little tiny uh, 737. And, uh, Little Buggerford told me he, got, he was inspired by, by me to build that flight sim, and uh, that's, that's awesome, man. Uh, being able to inspire other people to, to build a flight simulator, that's, that's, uh, that's, pretty, that's pretty cool. So, uh, so I'm going to watch your little project, and I subscribe to you on Facebook, and just, just to see your little updates and he too goes around with the finger and blah 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 <laughs> he's funny he's a funny little guy anyway um standing invitation for Ivar Hasnes he's coming back to Norway in not too long come over to the workshop and we'll have some fun uh, if you come during a weekend yeah well, well maybe a few beers no yes yo no 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 yes yes yeah um Guys, I don't really have a lot to talk about. You've seen the updates right now. Um, I need to finish off this wall. Not going to take too long. Because I've already done done it on this side. So, that's where we are right now. That's where we are. Um, hope you like the new quality of my camera. I just checked it out on YouTube. That's like 720p. And uh, that's a lot better than my iPhone. So, until next time. I'll catch you guys later. Bye-bye.